I'm not in the picture, am I? Of course you're in the picture. Am I? Yeah, of course you're in it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the best place for all things crochet related with me, Nottingham's expert crochet lady. And these two future crocheters. And I'm Elsie, and this is my sister Martha. We're going to show you how to crochet today. So in today's tutorial, we are focusing on the chain stitch and introducing little ones to crochet. What's it called, Elsie? Crochet. What is it not called, Elsie? Knitting. <laughs> <laughs> These girls have been brought up in a house where mummy crochets almost every day. The word crochet is always used, but Elsie always says knitting. <laughs> so when you are teaching children to crochet, I would start simply. Use chunky yarns and big hooks so that their little hands can use the yarn and um, get familiar with what they're supposed to be doing. I wouldn't jump in straight away to teaching them double crochet, treble crochet. I basically start with the chain stitch. When you start, you have to be, have a big chunk one, like big fat one. But when you get used to it, you get thinner one, thinner one. So Aaron, chunky weight, super chunky, things like cord. When you are choosing your yarns, you don't want anything that's too textured. The simpler the better. Children will often be drawn to the pretty sparkly textured yarns, but um, block colours, smooth yarns, they're the things that will help them. So, which hooks do you choose? I would avoid anything too small and opt for something chunky. I suggest a hook between an 8mm and a 20mm hook is a good start. We want a big hook for the big one and we want a little one for the little one. You get a crochet hook, get the yarn, big chunky one. In today's tutorial we're going to introduce the children to crochet and teach them how to do a chain stitch. So, to begin with, I have got a 3mm bobbiny cord for the girls to um, experiment with today. They've already had a play around with a few um, yarns, so they know a little bit about what they're doing. To begin, you will need to create a slip knot and attach your yarn to your hook. When you pull your loop to tighten, be careful not to pull too tightly. Make sure that the um, loop can move on your hook nice and freely, usually with a little bit of daylight through it. Pick up your hook and hold it in your non-dominant hand. The tail end wants to go um, alongside the hook, just like you would hold a, a microphone. Hold it like you're holding a microphone. La, la, okay. La, la, la and then you can work the yarn and grip where you need it. Um, this is how you crochet. You wrap the yarn over the hook and put it through your fingers. Get the closest one to the bottom and put it over the hook and carry on and carry on and carry on and on and on and on if it comes out like this you just pop it through the hole again it's easy Put it in your fingers. Get it 
get the closest to the bottom and wrap it over the hook. If you need to um, loosen it, just get this part and pull it. Um, and if you want to get it tighter, pull this part. Let's see how much we've done. Practice makes perfect. And perfect makes practice. <laughs> so nice to hear them say, Mummy, can we do some crochet? Mummy, can we get my crochet out? This one's the biggest out of all of them. Starting right. with chunky yarns, we have got lots of chain stitches. We have created some chain stitches and we have made them into yep. some art. Here are. I would like to um, do what unicorns, castles, and like pretty things. Yeah, This is the first in a series of um, video tutorials I'll be doing with the girls. Now that they have shown an interest in yarn, I'm going to throw all the yarn crafts at them. Oh! Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching! Bye! Bye! That was our film! Yeah? Did you like it? Oh, I hope this is filming. It's on. We're live. <laughs> so, oh. Is it cut when you need to Put the loop right in the middle of the hook and then take the bit that's attached to the ball and we're going to do something called a yarn over. So, oops, yarn over and then. Hold, I'm going to get you to do it, and then hold the yarn back down. So again, this hand is free. And what we're going to do with this hand, we're going to take the, hook, the yarn that's closest to your hand, and we're going to pull it on top. I can't do it. Can I do it? Wait, 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 wait. Pull it over the hook. Pull it over the other one, and then over the hook. I don't, I don't know how to do it this way. Shall okay. I show you? That's it. So you are on the keep on doing that and keep on doing that.